11 Unforgettable Couples Who Took Their On-Screen Love To Real Life 11 Unforgettable Couples Who Took Their On-Screen Love To Real Life Love. For most people love comes when they least expect it. But for some celebrities, all they had to do was just to look at their co-star. We at Brightside love such kind of love stories that came from the big screen to real life. And although many of them didn't last long, we will always remember them. Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield. We fell in love with these guys when they first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man as Peter Parker and his girlfriend, Gwen Stacy. In the movie, their romantic adventure had a tragic ending, but it was just the beginning of their love story in real life. Although Emma and Andrew are not currently together, we still love them, even as just friends. Nina Dobrev and Dean Summerhalder. A supernatural love story on set gave way to an off-screen romance. Although in The Vampire Diaries Elena and Damon shared eternity together, the real-life relationship lasted three years. The actors took different paths, and Ian is now married to actress Nikki Reed. Emily Van Camp and Joshua Bowman. They went from love to hate in the Revenge series, but in real life, the actors who play Emily Thorne and Daniel Grayson are head over heels in love. Antonio Banderas and Melanie Griffith. They met on the set of Too Much in 1995, and for all these years they looked perfectly happy. However, almost 20 years later, they decided to end their marriage, considered one of the most stable in Hollywood. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, one of the hottest celebrity couples, started their one-year relationship after they worked together on the set of Giggly in 2003. Benifer even got engaged, but much to the dismay of their fans they broke up in 2004. Rachel Bilson and Adam Brody. If you were a fan of the OC you surely recognize this couple. Adam Brody and Rachel Bilson had such an intense and obvious chemistry on screen, it was no wonder they fell in love just like their characters Seth and Summer. In real life, their relationship came to an end after three years, in 2006. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prinze Jr. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prinze Jr. first met in 1997 on the set of I Know What You Did Last Summer, but they only got married in 2002 while they were shooting Scooby-Doo. The couple now lives in Los Angeles with their two children. Blake Lively and Penn Badgley This couple set a good example of how to end a relationship. Blake Lively and Penn Badgley starred in Gossip Girl and were engaged for two years while working on the set. In 2010 they broke up but both handled the situation in a friendly and professional manner, not letting the breakup affect their work. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson Who doesn't remember this couple? It seemed like the whole world went crazy for the Twilight Saga and its main characters. But all of that glitters is not gold, and a beautiful love story that seemed to be just as perfect as in the movie came to an abrupt end. Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling One of those couples that seemed to have mind-blowing chemistry on the screen. The main characters of The Notebook have been dating for four years in real life. The funniest thing is that at the beginning of the filming process, the actors just couldn't stand each other. But it's true what they say, there's a thin line between love and hate. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher The old saying if it's meant to be, it will be perfectly describes the relationship of Mila and Ashton. These guys first met on the set of that 70s show in 1998, but only 14 years later. 
in 2012, did they begin to date? Their love story came to a happy ending with two beautiful children.